Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about the alpha coders versus the entrepreneurial devs. <laughs> All right, so I don't really have a problem with haters on this channel. I mean, it's, I've been pretty lucky so far. Everybody's been very supportive and says nice things. Even when someone disagrees with me, we disagree like on a logical basis and things like that, and it's actually really good. But I had a comment come in the other day that just struck me to the core, and it really bothered me. And it wasn't like somebody said, you're fat and ugly or you're late, whatever. It, what they said was, yeah, this was the one I, I did about the Ionic Framework, why we're no longer using the Ionic Framework. And a lot of people have said things like, you just don't understand our Ionic, and I don't understand why you're, you're bad-mouthing and all this kind of stuff, which I wasn't, right? I was just saying that if Apple ever stopped uh, approving them, then I'm going to be in big trouble, so we're moving away from that, all that kind of stuff. But I get some bad comments, right, from people who just, they love the framework, because we developers, we're very territorial when it comes to uh, the languages and the software that we use. So what he said was, you sound like the secretary in my office who thinks she knows code, but she doesn't, right? And then I, I, I saw that and I started to get, you know, everything else I just sort of shrugged off. That was, that bothered me because it struck me to the core. It struck me to my core identity as a software developer, right? So I started thinking, I started writing a response. I started thinking up stuff and I thought, no, I'll respond to him later. And then I, I'm walking around and I'm getting all angry about it and I'm thinking, you know, I should tell him, you know, I've, I've worked at all these big investment banks, I've worked with some of the best developers in the world, blah, 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 and I know about dependency injection and all this stuff. And I thought I'd throw out all these, you know, technical terms and everything. And then I stopped myself. And then I just deleted his comment. I said, screw it, you know, he could, um, if he wants to badmouth me, he could create his own channel and badmouth me on that, right? Because I started thinking about it. Right? I'm not, even though I still identify myself as a software developer and I still code, right? As much as I'm, I'm trying to move away from it, I still code, right? I am no longer the alpha developer, right? I'm no longer, like for the longest time, we're working in investment banks and working with other contractors. You know, there were, there was like a few developers who are really, really key. They were like, they were like players in this game. They were completely and totally into it. And I consider myself one of them. You know, like we knew that the language is backwards and forwards. We, during lunch, we would talk about code and we would talk about new technologies coming out or even the project that we're working on. We'll talk about it at night. We go home and code on the weekends. You know, we're just into it, right? And we're very highly paid but that was our life and you know so we would talk about things like you know inversion of control and and testability and code coverage and all this kind of, and, and how we're gonna write unit tests and review each other's code and using you know extreme programming and all this kind of stuff and it was it was a great group of people to be in but something changed when I started doing my own apps right I have to I have to, I have to admit to myself that I'm no longer that guy even though I still in the back of my head you know identify myself with it right since I started doing my own apps, I started to get a bit more entrepreneurial. Like when you're paying for the code and you're not just the developer doing it, you start thinking in terms of, I'm not so worried about code coverage in terms of testability. I'd rather get something out on the market to see how it does, right? I think what I'd rather release, you know, I know that I know you want to make this completely bug free, but and I want it bug free too, but if it's gonna take another month, then let's not do it. You know, I start thinking in, in a different way. Start thinking more in terms of both sides of the plate, the entrepreneur side and the development side. So I'm still doing the code, still doing that stuff. But there was a really good comment that came in on episode 315 by um, by Cloud Funk. It was about I should do a top 10 books. But he said maybe you should do a topic, top 10 books for entrepreneurial devs, right? And I thought. I've never heard that term before, entrepreneurial devs. That sounds that sounds excellent, because that sounds exactly what it is, right? I am no longer just a developer. I'm not trying to be the best developer in the world again. In fact, sometimes people will ask me to do like tutorials. Hey, Eric, why don't you do a tutorial on Android? You, you, you know why? Because there are people who could do it a lot better than I can. There are alpha developers out there in Android who could do a way better job than I can. But, so I talk a lot about the marketing side. I talk about both sides of it. And when I started out, right, I started thinking, maybe it's a liability that I know how to code. Maybe I should stop coding altogether and just do, uh, you know, just do the marketing and all that kind of stuff. Hire some people. And I did a little bit, but 
You know what? You know what? It's one of the saddest things that, that, well, in my opinion, when you when you talk with someone and they don't know the code at all, like they don't even know how, like simple HTML, and you say say to them, hey, your website needs to be updated because it's got some wrong information. And they say, oh yeah, my developer is on vacation or my developer quit, and I'm waiting for a new guy to come, and they can't even do those simple little things. I think being an entrepreneurial dev is the best of both worlds because you're exploring the market. You're not just looking at you know, it's not the code, you know, entrepreneurial devs, I mean, sorry Cloudfunk if I take the term, I don't know if you came up with it or if it's like, I just never heard it before, but you know, we're not just concerned about the code, you know, developers think the best code wins. Developers think that if the code was like super bug free and, and airtight and you know, it took two years to code, then that should be the top of the market, but it doesn't because the market doesn't care. And entrepreneurial devs, we try to put things out as quick as possible. We totally believe in the MVP and you know, emphasis on the M, right? You know, to make it as minimal as possible and get something out there. And it's a completely different mindset, right? You know, so you, know, you put something out there, if it takes off, then you work on it, you build it, you make it a little bit better. If it doesn't, then you don't. So. Anyway, just my thoughts for the day. You know what? I am not the alpha developer anymore, right? So I don't talk specifically about code, but I love to code. I love frameworks. I love just getting in there and tinkering with things, building things, putting things on the app store. But I also have to look at all the other stuff as you guys do, which is probably one of the reasons why you guys watch the channel and you know, we talk a lot about, we don't just talk about code. We might mention code, but we're also, we're very concerned with ASO and keyword rankings and, and how do we get people into our applications? Because ultimately what we want to do is make money, not just make great coded products. But so anyway, just my thoughts for today. What do you guys think? You know, is it, you know, are you a coder and an entrepreneur or are you just one or the other? Do you think it's better to just be just one or do you think it's best to try to straddle both? Or is that limiting yourself too much? So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.